Hello, my name is Max Ward. I'm a Customer Success Associate for Guterman. This video is going to cover the initial steps after purchasing the Aquascan 620L or TM2 real-time correlator. So after you received the Dropbox link to download the software from your Guterman sales representative, you're going to want to download that software. And now the next step is to open up your 620L or TM2 kit and turn on your sensors and receiver and attach the antennas as well. After that, on your PC, tablet, or laptop, you're going to go into the settings, go to devices, and click add Bluetooth or other device. On this screen, you're going to click Bluetooth, and now you're going to get a drop-down list of available devices. Now you're going to look for the serial number on the back of the receiver. When you found that, click on that. It will connect, and then your device will be ready to go. So now we have to connect that device not only to the computer, but to the software as well. And to do that, we're going to go to the right-hand side of the screen here and choose More Bluetooth Options. Once we've done that, we're going to navigate to the Com Ports tab. And you can see it displays ports COM3 and COM4. In this case, we're going to be concerned with the outgoing COM port, COM3. So let's keep that in mind. Now in the software, you notice we can't connect when we hit the Bluetooth Connect button on the right-hand side. So now we have to go into Settings. And we're going to choose COM3 from this drop-down menu. While we're here, let's make sure that the other settings are correct. So in the filter tab here, we're going to go to 60 slash 120 hertz for America and 50 to 100 for uh, pretty much everywhere else. This is going to filter out electrical noise. And in the language tab under the unit system, we're going to change it from uh, metric to imperial for the US and keep it at metric for everywhere else. So now that we're ready to go, let's click connect to link again. And on the bottom left hand side of the screen, we can see our TM2 serial number along with the battery and a signal strength indicator for sensors A and B. So now that we've connected our equipment to the software, let's just run a quick test. We're going to click the pipe icon and choose the default pipe segment and click the red dot record button. While we're doing this, you can even scratch on the uh, surface in between the two sensors and then click stop. So this will give you a nice sample peak, a nice sample correlation. And click the auto filter as I've done here to show how this software can display multiple correlations along one stretch of pipe at a time. So when we're done with this, let's hit the floppy disk icon and save our correlation. And in this window, we're going to be prompted to select a destination for our correlation. So I'm actually going to create a new folder and I'll just name it Correlation Recordings, something like that. And the file name will auto-populate with the date that the correlation took place. I'm just going to keep it the same. I'll hit Save. And now in the future, let's say a couple of weeks down the road, I want to go back to that correlation I just saved. I'm going to hit that file icon with the up air green arrow. And now I'm going to choose the correlation from that folder. And that's going to pop that correlation right back into the software. And from here, I can even change the pipe data. I can change the length, the material, uh, the diameter. When I'm done with that, I'm going to just click Update Current Correlation. And it's going to recalculate and uh, hopefully give me a more accurate correlation measurement. Uh, one more thing here, if I click the More button, you can see that we can print a report. We can either print to a physical copy to a printer, or we can save a PDF. Uh, let's save it to PDF this time. It's going to ask you to choose a destination. So I'm going to choose the saved correlations file, but you can also create a separate file folder for just reports. And then I'm just going to name it um, Today's Date and Correlation. Click OK. And now in the future, if I want to go back in and view that PDF report, I'm going to find that file and open it up. And you can see this report 
just has the two graphs that were on the uh, software screen and as well as the pipe data at the top. And uh, one last thing, the question mark icon here, if you click that, that will open up a PDF user manual that you can um, reference if you ever run into any issues or have any questions about how to operate the equipment. So that is all for this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out via any of the numbers in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.